Testing. I'm Norm from Testing. Welcome to the amazing test. Correct. Uh, it is uh, episode 16. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, you ready to build some uh, Lego, Norm? What do you want? No working? specific challenges today. It's no. Finally, we get a regular build. I have I'm up ahead of you. Just a little tiny bit. I feel like this is a good episode. For come me. from behind. I'm building prison Strategy cells. Strategy work real well. I've been doing a lot of uh, prison cell stuff here. Okay. So uh, yeah, oh, let's you, got your, you got your C3PO on. Uh, He's there for good luck. Oh, for good luck. I rub his head for good luck. Don't rub C3PO. Why not? I'm not sure if you like him. Paul, you know Paul C3PO. What? You know polish him? No. Okay. I'm gonna give him an oil bath. Okay. I've uh, put my Super Star Destroyer on platforms. Um, also, if you watched yesterday's episode. I'm missing a piece? Yes. I'm Norm missing a piece? Missing a piece. I think it's what you're talking about is due to poor sorting. I'm sure it's I've somewhere. borrowed from the future, so we'll see. What are you building right now? Is that your lid for the control This is the center? lid for uh, okay, the top of the superstructure. Cool. You're almost done with superstructure, huh? And I, I have very few uh, pieces on my table, so I might be ready to sort at the end of this episode. So that would be bag five? Bag fives. Wow, you're finally in the bag five. I'm almost ready to open bag six. This is the last of my bag five stuff here. Mm -hmm. All so right, I think we're soon. just about ready. Yeah, let's go. Control room. Okay, go. And where did I end up? Oh, you will see. What hey, so I ordered. Um, a, you know, for a long time, the Muppet Show. Did you ever watch the? You're probably too young to watch the Muppet Show. Not right? when it was actually on the air. Well, but they showed repeats, repeats on TNT like maybe 10, 15 years ago when you would have been. I also did not have cable. Really, much you didn't of have my cable? childhood. Correct. Uh, you know. I did not have cable in much of my childhood either. I'd have friends either. Really didn't have friends. Well, I, 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 I had a math book. I lived, well, that's good. A math book goes a long way. Yeah, you don't need friends. You have a math book. Um, I had friends, but they all lived long, far away from me because I was in the country, and uh, you know you couldn't like I couldn't ride. I mean, we weren't allowed to ride our bikes on the street. Why not? Uh, because we would have been killed. Oh. Because it was a you know back good. back country road, right? Um, and on back country roads. People get uh, people go really fast is the kind of takeaway. Okay. So we were never allowed to go out on our own. Um, oh, that's not that. That's one of those pieces. Okay, I got Continue. That. Uh, so yeah, so I didn't get to go, and I didn't know that cable TV. I didn't really understand the miracle well, also of cable in, TV. Also, uh, in many places in America, if you don't have cable TV, you have basically no TV. Like we're very fortunate in. In the Bay Area, that even when I didn't have cable TV, I had like eight channels. Oh, see, we had four channels. I mean, I got the the big affiliate channels. Um, I got to, I got to watch Batman. Well, for a long so for a long time, all we had when I was a kid was ABC, CBS, and NBC. Um, and then late in the game, you know, Fox or Fox UPN came around. No, UPN UPN well, started UPN. when I was in college. Right. Um, so no, yeah, no UPN, and it also turns out not that big a deal not having UPN. What you get Buffy and. I you don't. Get, you mean get a mm. UPN was where I saw. I was the uh, wrong age for Buffy. Where I saw a Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah, well, so those were reruns. When I was a kid, UPN uh, Star Trek: The yeah. Next Generation was on ABC in my, really? in my local neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so it was, a, but it was affiliated. It was a um, syndicated rather. So it was just yeah. whoever wanted to pay the money for it, right, got it in that region. Some places just didn't have it. Well, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very expensive show to for a syndicated show. Well, back then. At least, since then we've had uh, advances in things like Xena and, and uh, Hercules. Hercules. The legend those, continues. Those shows. You know, in middle school, uh, when we were learning Greek mythology, uh, oh, a God. lot of kids didn't know who that. Xena was. Oh, well, <laughs> didn't know that Hercules. Like I remember, some kid in class asked where Eolus was in the books. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's that had to go well for him. Uh, it's funny, and it wasn't me. Thank goodness. Huh? I made a mistake here. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. This is not lining up properly, though. Oh, this actually isn't that bad of a build. Oh, this bumped me out. I was worried. Someone in the forum said that building this top oh. part uh, is really complicated. And it's actually not that bad. So no, what they said, what I heard was that building the uh, engines. Engine. I, I, I totally believe that building really, the engines really is going to kill me. Yeah, the engines seem like they're bad news. Um, I've got a fair amount of detail work here for the next little bit. Um, I'm building. It looks like I'm building most of the the jail cell stuff, um, which is a ton of black pieces, which is kind of nice because they're easy to pick out. Um, 
but also lots and lots of little fiddly bits. So that's, it seems to be fiddly bits are bad for progress in my experience. So syndicated shows. Syndicated Star shows. Yeah, Star Trek was the only was the first one that I remember really. So what happens if you missed a, an episode of Star Trek? You were completely fucked back then. Wow. See, at least for me, if I missed an episode for one reason or another, I just have to wait like a couple months until they loop back. Well, you around. could do that. But like, for example, I missed the first part of the Best of Both Worlds. Really? Oh, that's sad. Which was awful. Luckily, a friend what? of mine. Picard is Borg. Luckily, yeah, Wolf Five Three Nine. Luckily, a friend of mine had actually recorded it. With VHS. Well, the first episode was end of season three. Yes. And so it was like a whole summer. So I guess you missed, you missed the finale. Well, back then it was horrible though, because like if you if you like waiting all summer to find out what happened on that, that was an awful awful thing to do. It's why there's fans. some people I know. I'm not going to name names specifically who will not watch TV shows that are on the air right now. I, you know, because they only like to binge watch shows. I can kind of see that. I, I can get behind that. Really? You don't want to get the water cooler talk and the, the, the internet discussion? When was the last time somebody talked around the water cooler? Oh, okay. The internet um, water cooler? Uh, I don't I don't know uh, that there is a water cooler these days. We have a water cooler in our office. Yeah, but nobody stands around and talks because it's right next to somebody's no, desk. No, you just sit at your desk and talk. But Yeah. Like when Lost is on the air. Yes, I didn't watch Lost. I know, and so you watched everyone else in the office talk about Lost. No, just you and Catherine and John. Yeah, most people. And, and then Alex. the rest of us mocked you, no. as I recall. Gordon especially. Well, Gordon, because he's a troll. <laughs> right. I guess you took that from him. No, I was a troll before I knew Gordon. Okay. Thank you, then. All right. Ooh, big plate. I like big plates. That's a lot of weight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting a little competitive again. I'm kind of liking that. For a while, I felt bad for you, so I, I eased back. Are you trying, You mean in terms of completion? Yeah, in terms of your completion. Or maybe I'm just building better. That's possible, but unlikely. I love again. it when the pieces just all snap together exactly. Like it's a really satisfying snapping. Feeling. Well, having two eyes also helps. Yeah, the, a lot. The, you know, between that and the... Well, you know what else we have? We have another... Oh, God, I don't want to think about that. Never mind. Let's not talk about this right now. Okay. I can't face what's coming. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be real bad. The uh, uh, Yeah, the syndicated stuff, you, you have to really be on the ball or else you could miss out entirely. I don't understand where this other piece goes. I'm, I'm really using up oh, my final yeah. small pieces. It's a nice feeling, right? Really? It's Just a, remember you have 3,000 more pieces, or 1,500 more pieces in the bags well, underneath you. Who knows? Don't get cocky, Chan. Worked out for Luke. That's true. Did work out for Luke. Um, so, so uh, we were talking about Chipotle yesterday. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite burrito in San Francisco? Um... In San Francisco or in the Bay Area? Well, yeah, Bay Area. Same difference. Oh, I forget there's a name. I like this place in the Mission. Of course, it's in the Mission. Um, I forget it's what it's called. It's kind of racist in the Mission. No, it's they, they make good burritos. Uh-huh. They. Uh, the, the restaurants in the Mission. Uh-huh. Yeah, those people. Uh, it's become real popular, but they have a good... I like a good mole. Uh, who doesn't like a good mole? Mole. That's what I say. Wow. Ooh, wow, your little roof's coming on nicely. Um, you I'm just worried about missing. You're not talking about La Taqueria, are you? No, 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 no. Uh, where did that? Oh, that's this piece right here. La Playa. No, is it called La Playa? Is good. I think it's the best. I like it. Uh, that place that we used to go to uh, in Sausalito, I really like. Um, oh, the place owned by uh, what's his name? Oh, I'm done with the lid. Nice, congratulations. Sweet. You want to get get a shot of this? Here's the lid. Now I'm going to lift this up and put this. I don't find out which way is the front. Um, um, it looks so similar, I cannot tell. Uh, I'm going to say this is the front. There's a sticker in there somewhere. Nope. Please fit. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's right on top. Sweet. I think I'm done with the superstructure. And I am in bag five. Congratulations. Is bag five the engine bag? I hope it's the engine bag. 
I uh, hope it's the engine bag. I have a bunch of extra pieces, but that's to be expected. These yeah, are bonus I pieces. Of, uh, yeah, when I cleared out the mess from bags one through four, I had a boatload of extra pieces. I'm gonna clear off my table, and now I'm actually gonna take advantage of your six. Uh, my my uh, bins. I am building engines. Congratulations. So I can open just bag five now, right? Yeah, just go for it. It's time to start sorting. Or, if you feel like you're uh, falling behind, you can just bypass the sort and try to make up some speed here. Hmm. I do have bins. Wow, this Holes. is weird. I have no idea what this thing is. I'm building, uh, it's a shaft with mm -hmm. some blocks on it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It looks like it's going to be some sort of platform. Okay. Oh, wow. And then I, okay, so this goes on here like this. And then I put a whole bunch of little dubers here. Oops, other way. Huh, how am I going to sort this? I don't know. You, well, you should take a moment, ponder your strategy. Really think it over, real, you know, it's serious. You don't want to fall behind here. No, I want to use this as an opportunity to leapfrog ahead. Yeah, this is, this is your moment to shine, really. Oh, this goes in here? Oh, that's weird, okay. Bags within bags, huh, see, I'm totally gonna use this. I'm not gonna sort these, of course, these here. Oh, I, I just built the door for it. This is the door. So let's show you. This is the door that covers the hole that goes into the garbage compactor. That's right down here on this side. There was no the door. They, they blast it. They she blast blasts the, the grate. The, the grate. I built a grate. Oh, okay. And the grate blasts. So see, it's on a pivot. And I guess there's going to be something else that comes up on the other side here in a minute. I'm on to page 156. You know what? What? I'm not going to sort. You're not sorting? I'm not sorting. You're making this interesting. I like that. Feeling real good about my chances. How many pieces do you have in that bag, you think? I don't know. Maybe 500? Uh, you can probably get away without sorting that. I think I can do it. Yeah, why not? As I long mean, as I'm careful. The worst case is all you're going to be behind is a few hours. Yes. That, and that I would mean, be the worst case. We haven't decided what's going to happen if I win and you have a lot to finish. Do I just get to stand over you and heckle the entire time? Or um, will there be some sort of punishment? Do I get to decide what the challenges are? Typically, obscenely biological ones. Like, what's the what's the incentive to me to go finish this and beat you? Um, Aside from pride, I, I don't know if we uh, we should talk about that uh, offline. Yeah, <laughs> really? You just said we should talk about that offline? Yeah, it's really lame, dude. Um, why don't you toss us some ideas? Um, no, I think we should talk about that offline. <laughs> okay. No, that's really lame, dude. Now, I, of course, I reserve the right to, uh, to start sorting if I think this is going poorly. Oh, of course. Of course. Take all the time you need. Just think it over. That's what I say. I want you to, to make sure, I want your experience to be as fun, because that's what this is really all about, is having fun, right? This is fun? Yeah, fun. I guess it's fun. You don't think it's fun anymore? I think it's fun. We're building Lego. Yeah. Getting paid to do it. How could you not be having fun? It's fun. <laughs> Somewhere there's a small, that small child outside the Lego store mm -hmm. when Gary bought his Superstar Destroyer. Yep. He's weeping right now because of your, yeah, it's fun. Whatever. It's fun. That's cool. I guess. Oh my god. I'm putting a gear on this shaft. Mm hmm. Continue. Um, and it's going to, there's going to be some sort of mechanism that opens the gate, I think. See, here's my, here's my, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's my, my, my grate to the sewer below. That piece is done. And these pages turn real fast. 158. What? What? No. Yes. No. How, keep sorting, Chan. You sh I wouldn't slow down. Wait, no. 
What? There's no way you're at 158. Yeah, I'm at 158. No way. You can welcome to come over and look. How is that possible? 159. Oh, fuck. Okay. I, if I were you, I would pick up the pace some. You're not sorting strategies probably wise given the, the, the situation you're in right now with regards to me winning. How many pages do I have in this book? Do you know? Two hundred or something? Oh, I'm running out of stickers, too. This is getting near the end here. Oh, oh okay. Hands shaking a little bit. That's the right answer. I can do this. I can do this. You should feel the fear in our, about now. I'm going to switch over here. Wait, that doesn't seem high enough. Did I miss some? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 152. Only six um, pages. Behind. I love that there was a lot of conversation. I'm on 159 now, so you're uh, back to seven. Um, like there's a lot, of, there's a lot of conversation in the in the chatters mm -hmm. the about viewers? whether you're the grasshopper or the hare or the ant or the rabbit. The, the, the analogy was not very good. I thought it was a pretty solid analogy. Please explain the analogy. Remember the story, it's the story of a bug's life, about the rabbits, uh, about, uh, sorry, about the uh, grasshopper that tries to muscle in on the kind ants who prepare for the winter right. by sorting well. In this case, sorting is an analogy for preparing for winter. Which is coming. Which is, winter is coming, yes. We talked about that last episode. Uh, this is going to be another, uh, I, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think this is another potential Game of Thrones situation on our hands here. Another come from behind? Well, I mean, you know. Okay, I do what maybe, I can. Maybe the sorting was, maybe not sorting was not the best idea. Still not too late to back down from, from your insane plan. I'm just trying to encourage you to do what's right for you. My prison complex, though, almost done. Oh, this is a complex one. Should take four or five minutes. Three, three. One, two I remember a time when there was no stress when you built Lego. Yeah, when it was just for fun? Yeah. Do you have stress right now? Do you, are you feeling pressure from, from my incredible pace here? Is that what you're saying? You're nervous? You got the fear? I don't know where this piece goes. It's not in my, it's not the picture. I love it when the little one-to-one -one picture is on the thing so you can put your piece right on the on the paper and see that it's the right length. Honestly, I wish there was more of that. I'm very confused. What's wrong with some of these? Did you uh, lose some pieces wow. again? I'm on page 152 for people who are following at home. Uh, there's a three by one piece that I'm not exactly sure where it goes. Ah, ha ha. This is a crazy. Don't, don't Crazy piece over. here. I can't wait till you knock over one of your um, my superstar destroyer. No, you knock over one of your your bowls. Um, I'm not going to because my bowls are way far away from where I sit. This is a crazy little thing I just built. I have no idea what this is for. Um, but it goes right over here. Oh, this is the door to Princess Leia's cell. Sweet. Can you put, are you put her inside the cell now? I think I think I might have to. You know, it's for the good of the empire. Well, make an omelets, man. It's not for it's the good of the empire. Yeah, it's not the good of the republic. Yeah. Well, you know, do, have you ever seriously considered the theory that the empire might be the good guys? Uh, explain. Uh, well, if you think about it, you know the the old system under the republic. If we're gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk about prequels here, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. um, but the old system under the Republic allowed idiots like Jar Jar. Yeah, exactly. It was full of corruption and, and vile behavior. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that, that there's an argument to be made that even though the Emperor is a little bit evil, just, just a little a, bit. Little, just a little bit? He's a little evil. He's not super duper. He's not, you know. I, I think he's super I mean, they killed evil. all those kids, which is where the argument kind of breaks down, I guess. Yes. Killing children, as we've established on previous episodes, always bad. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but if you, well, if you, Anakin killed the kids. Yeah, I mean, maybe Anakin was a rogue agent. He went beyond his uh, step beyond his uh, his uh, mandate. Maybe the Emperor was like, "Hey, go take care of those kids." And what he really meant was, "Hey, go to the Jedi Training Academy and make sure that the kids are okay." But Anakin, deep really? in the power of the dark side, uh, went a little too far. You know, it's a, from a certain point of view. Is uh, what we're really talking about here. I'll make sure there's no bullshit build ten times. Are you reading ahead? You have to follow the instructions in the order in which they're uh, presented to you. Okay. I believe that was the rule we established okay. on the first so day. So the times that you built ahead, looked ahead. No, you count. can look ahead. I look. I'm, I'm saying I'm looking. I can, I'm but you can't ahead. build ahead. I'm scouting. You can collect pieces from ahead. Scouting. Scouting is scouting is entirely appropriate. Scouting is necessary. Uh, have you played any Gotham City Imposters? I have not. I kind of thought you would have... Oh, damn. Just because I like Batman? You do like Batman. And you, you do like the Joker. Wait, what the fuck am I? I'm starting to question my, uh, my bowl method. I'm not going crazy, right? No, not at all. Absolutely not. Turn in the page. What page are you on now? 160? 165, 164. Jeez. Christ. How are you feeling? You feeling a little bit of pressure now? How you uh, like do you feel like not sorting was a good strategy or bad strategy at this point? Good strategy. Stand by it. Oh, I forgot to put a piece on in the last step. Um, so have you been playing Batman? I played a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's um, it's not at all the game I was expecting, but it's very Team Fortressy in a way that I like without being, you know, just Team Fortress Two all over again. Um, the character design is pretty good. There's a lot of stuff to collect and build, and and like there's a lot of activity in the game, which is pretty pretty appealing to me. As a dude who likes to play that kind of game, you like built crafting your characters. I like spending time making a character, and every the one thing that I think they did mess up on is the silhouettes are pretty rough in that game. So it's real hard to tell because they you can read, change the way your that, dude looks so much. That Valve blog about how silhouettes. They did are... not read the Valve blog. Yeah. Did you ever look at the at the? Uh, like director's commentary stuff on Team Fortress 2? I never watched all of it. I just watched a little bit of it. It's, it's uh, very I, interesting. It was one of those things where I'd rather sp spend time playing the game. Yeah, well, that's true. It's. Uh, I think that stuff's worth watching. Of course. It's, it's interesting. Right? It's like one of those, you know, while I eat dinner. Yeah, exactly. Two... Uh, I love these ones where you take six pieces that are identical and put them all on at once. That's really exciting. I did that with 12 pieces. Ooh, exciting. 166. The fun part about the stage that we're at now is I don't have to really troll anymore. I just have to say what page number I'm on, and that's enough to put you in a little bit of a tizzy. You know what tizzies lead to? Uh, hissy fits? Hissies. That's true. Two triangles. Where the... Oh, it's my one by flats. It's really cool to see... Oh, here it is. ...how some of these engine pieces come together. Because I know, like, the, the translucent orange pieces are the engines. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, are you building engines now? Of course. So I'd better be pretty far ahead of you at the end of this episode or I've got problems, is what you're saying. Yes. If I if my next step is to mount this on the back of my Star Destroyer, then you got problems. Guess what? Your next step is to mount this on the end of the Star Destroyer? Oh, this is so cool. Wait, make sure that's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's trapping. Don't mess up. Go ahead and mount it on, and if you have to do it over again, it's no big deal. 
There are three you points of contact. Always go back. Oh, so should we? Oh, wow. Hey, turn that around so people can see it, dude. This part sliding in, and they, these three points of contact. One. No, no, they can't. They'll turn the whole two. model around a little bit. I can't. Oh man, that's a bummer. See, now that was something. Oh, I have to move C3PO. Oh, he's actually very tricky. Ah, oh, don't pop off pieces. 168. It's uh, the right spot. Oh, there it goes. Popped on. Yeah, one panel engine done. Woof. Now do that again, basically. Button reverse. I can do that. I like them because these are uh, symmetrical. They're not exactly the same pieces. Uh -huh. um, it's not a, a 2x step. It's not a... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the 2x's two two are... That stuff sucks. It's, it's more of a... This, boy, this is a big one I'm building right now. I don't one by Dark Let me start that. <sighs> okay, no stress. I'm pretty happy about where I am right now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty awesome. I'm really happy about where I am. I don't believe you. I'm sitting in a room, I'm building some Lego. I don't believe you. Why not? That's not true, that's impossible? Is that what you're saying? I think you're worried. No, I'm not worried at all, dude. I'm about to start putting roof on. Come back to the stand-up method. You're standing again? Nope. Sit back down. Standing yeah. denotes weakness. No, standing was standing was a bad idea. We can all agree on that. You'll, you really hurt yourself after that. I don't know what this wall is for, though. This is weird. One, two, three, four. And it's a twosie. And a three. Page 157. Uh, what else has happened over the weekend? Uh, let's see. We talked, did we, talk, we talked about Boney Bear and the... Well, we kind of did, and then we stopped talking about it because you got distracted, and I didn't really care that much about it. Um, so what's what's the story on that dude? Because he's kind of a weird-looking dude, and he's from Wisconsin. Just, music's good. No, no, I get that. Shows sell out. Uh, was, it, was that what all that whole stuff was about? It was like, don't sell out? No, 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 no. I'm, say, like I'm saying his shows sell very well. Oh. And uh, he's very popular with the kids. Um, I actually don't like his music as much as I like Arcade Fire's music. I love Arcade Fire. Um, I have friends who love Bon Iver and uh, Oh, I think I'm making a door. I am. It's, it's going to have a... Oh, my goodness. Actually, they, they played the Greek theater uh, last summer. Bon Iver? Uh-huh. And I didn't watch them. Uh, but I went to see the band that opened for them afterward uh, when they came back. Uh, and I like okay. that band a lot. Oh, 171. 170. Um, Which band opened for them? Uh, it's a band called Other Lives. Uh, I've never heard of them. You wouldn't have. Thank you. I didn't, you don't have to say it. I know. I'm trying to save you time. You need all the help you can get at this point. Um... What, what is other lives like? Reduct, reductify it for me. Uh, well, it's kind of very, like, ethereal music. It's very. Is it sweet. chill? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all folksy. Like, oh, okay. what, what's the, good. Well, I'm almost out of big pieces again. Pianos, keyboards, and stuff. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What was I going to say? You were talking about Bonnie Bear and how you don't really like him very much anymore because he's gotten too popular. No, I, I, he's never the biggest fan. Um, that he, well, so explain something. Do, do, do you know how the, do you understand the Grammy stuff at all? Do I understand how the Grammys work? Yeah, I mean, it's all based on sales, right? No, it's, it's voting. Yeah, but the people who are voting base it on sales, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Grammys, I, I feel like, are more popularity contests than any other 
award uh, show. Award I mean, show. on the other hand, the shows the, during the Grammys have the potential to be the most interesting, right? Because uh, like Paul McCartney, because you actually have performances. Yeah, because it's not just fucking Elton John singing the song from whatever movie came he did the score for that year. Not that I, I, I mean, just to be clear, I love Elton John, but um, but you think he's an asshole. No, I don't think he's an they asshole. He sold out royally with his Pepsi commercial, whatever. Yeah, it was. that Pepsi Pepsi commercial was fucking lame. I can't remember, I can't believe I remember that it was a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like that he played the bad guy. I think he thought he was probably being edgy by being the bad guy. But yeah, that Pepsi commercial was weak sauce. Um. What else, uh, man? You see how much I've done this time. You're going to shit bricks. I don't. Oh, I don't oh, like shitting oh. bricks. No, you shouldn't. It seems like it'd be very uncomfortable. Okay. Oh no. Are these dark gray or are these black? These are dark gray, not black. Shit. I'm going to kick where I like bands where that have s keyboards and um, strings but are not orchestral. I am missing a piece. I'm sorry. I know, I am too. Oh man. I want you to shit as many bricks as I shit. I do think I'm going to shit this episode. Well, get ready for some brick shitting. Are they, was I supposed to open a new bag? Where on earth could, these, could this piece be? It's a single. And they were all sorted nicely. In one of these days, the, the PA systems we broke. And we're going to run out of time. Oh, my God. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was going to say that Thomas is going to call and, and tell us that time's up. And he's going to run into the room and burst. I don't know where the... Um, I really am missing a piece. I'm missing a couple of pieces, even. Uh, because there should be one by blocks left. And I don't have any. And I have not hey, used... Hey, let's weigh. Any extra one by blocks. That is the right answer. You have the scale, I believe. Nope. Oh, I do? Nope. It's behind us. You put it behind us. I only got this much by this time. I am uh, perplexed. Maybe I didn't open a small bag or something. Oh, I got So cool. I finished first. the top of my lid. Look at what I did. Look what I can do. No, no, look what I did. I have I have a, a door. Oh, you built the entire prison. I built the entire prison. And I have this guy, which opens this way. Hmm. And hmm. Princess Leia's cell. And I think that the robot goes there, probably. But I could be wrong. Hmm. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm going to wait. Whoa. It's a little wop. It's a little top heavy these days. Three point two seven. Three point. Come on. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it to settle. No, don't, don't do that. Three point two seven. I want to make sure it's zeroed out. Did I put C three PO back on? Yeah, I did. Damn it. Wait, that. That. Three point two seven. Oh wait, and I missed a. I missed a dude. Probably three point two eight now, right? No, nope. three point two seven. Okay. Well, I'm going to lift it up and put it back on again, just to make sure. Oh! <laughs> okay, 3.27. Okay. That seems right. That seems right. Finding the iPhone, you should get your uh, getting, whiteboard. Yep. I am in a somewhat of a dilly of a pickle over here. I might have to rob from the future, too. What did I say, 3.27? Mm-hmm, you did. Wow, I am I'm way ahead of you in total mass. Do you feel like you made good progress this time or not so much? Maybe not so much. How am I going to get this to show? All right, you can disconnect the meter from the front. i got to do it this way. Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Oh, I can disconnect the meter from the front. Yeah. Let me do that. Here, we hold the whiteboard. Ah, my pieces. Please. Got it. Next week, the next episode is going to be a challenge episode, isn't it? So, should be a black one by a tall. How does this work? I got to push here. There's a trick. It was hard. Uh, maybe we'll uh, update the way in next episode. I got More it. I'm struggling over there. No, nope, I don't got it. Nobody wants to watch you flail. Okay, okay. Time. I'm just going to put it on top. Here, and we'll figure it out. Okay. Get There's the whiteboard. Uh, I'm going to go through old bags and make sure I didn't stick a piece inside a bag someplace. Still, so, Because that would Zero. be a real bummer. Uh, I'm ready for your number. Zero. Okay. Just so you know, it's episode 16. Your weight. 
is hold on, 2.68, 2.73, and then one more piece. Okay, 2.78 kilograms. 2.78 kilograms. Okay, I'm going to submit. Google Docs for iPhone really blows, you know that? I've heard. Uh, my total percentage at 3.27 kilograms is 67.35%. Your total percentage at 2.78 kilograms is 68.56%. Are you still up on me at by a percent? By a percent. That stand was real good for you, wasn't it? We'll be back tomorrow with more amazing tests. I think it's a challenge day if Norm wants to make up some other bullshit challenge. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye. Keep on bricking. Shit was not bricked. Did you see how much I've done? Look at this. <laughs>